Hello friends, welcome to my channel Block On. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the PNS guided proximal obturator nerve block or the Winnie's classic obturator nerve block. It blocks the common trunk or the anterior division of the obturator nerve. The patient lies supine with the limb to be blocked at 30 degrees abduction. The pubic tubercle is identified by palpation and a 1.5 cm to 2 cm long line is drawn laterally and caudally. The needle insertion site is labeled at the tip of the end of this caudal line. of type, volume and concentration of local anesthetic should be based on the built general condition of the patient and the indication of the block. I use a concentration of 0.5% or above for anesthesia, the relief of adductor muscle spasm associated with hemiplegia or paraplegia and to suppress the obturator reflex in urologic surgeries. A concentration of 0.25% or lower is sufficient for analgesia purpose. A volume of 10 to 15 ml of local anesthetic is usually required for this block. The pubic tubercle is first identified by palpation and the nerve block needle is inserted perpendicular to the skin. If the needle contact the inferior border of superior pubic ramus, it is withdrawn slightly and redirected laterally to work off the bone and enter the obturator foramen until an adductor evoc motor response is observed. Then gradually the current is decreased to 0.3 to 0.5 million pairs. Once the desired response is obtained at this range, the local anesthetic is injected after negative aspiration for blood. With 1 ml of injection, the twitches are gone. It is known as the positive Raj sign. The assessment of sensory block is unreliable due to the variability in its sensory distribution. In more than 50% of population, the obturator nerve does not innervate the medial part of the thigh. In such cases, the medial thigh is supplied by medial cutaneous branch from the anterior division of femoral nerve. Moreover, a considerable overlap of cutaneous innervation exists among the obturator, femoral, and the sciatic nerve. Hence, the reduction in adduction strength is the most reliable means of demonstrating a successful obturator nerve block. Subjectively, it can be assessed by asking the patient to adduct the thigh against resistance and objectively, the adductor muscle strength can be evaluated by comparing the maximal pressure exerted by the patient squeezing a sphygmomanometer that has been pre-inflated to 40 millimeter of mercury and placed between the legs before and after the block performance. Failure to demonstrate a reduction in adductor muscle strength from baseline is synonymous with the block failure. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.